Okay, so I'm in for the Aries reading. Uh, you're second in line here <clears throat> with 27 hits. So we're going to start off uh, in love, sex, and romance area and see what we get here. Okay, give her. <laughs> okay, first card. Page of Swords. <clears throat> these are all wonky, these cards. Page of Swords, there she is. It's interesting that she, oh, i got to find another word. I say that way too often. Yellow canary on her finger there. Just give me a minute. <clears throat> what is the meaning of yellow is friendship? We may be inquiring about a friendship here uh, in our circles. I feel like this may be a possible partner, but we're inquiring on a friendship level first to kind of test waters here. Yeah, we're inquiring about a particular person is the sense I'm getting. Love interest for future reference is, is what they're saying. So we're trying to f get friendly with someone here that we kind of <laughs> may have the hots for is really what I'm getting to. Okay, next card. <clears throat> Ooh, four swords. Not a great looking card. <laughs> Here, this one uh, is tie all tied up. Now, it's interesting that she's looking in that direction. It's giving me a sense that this is the partner that we're wanting to go to, the person that we're interested, the person that we're inquiring about, is all tied up at the moment. May not have time for us. I'm going to keep going. Next card, the moon. Yeah, there's some secrets here that still have to be revealed. We do not know a lot about this person that is all tied up at, at the moment here. We may They may be tied up in another relationship. They may be trying to escape uh, another relationship, but still uh, firmly in it, is what they said, firmly in it. Um, there's a mysteriousness here. The sense is we're not uh, really meant to know more at this time. It's just kind of carry on, <laughs> carry on. Carry on doing what your normal uh, sphere is to do here. I, I do notice that in the page here, the water, right? The water that's falling, she's quite removed from that emotional center. So <clears throat> at this point, they said, so in the future, we want to get emotionally involved with this person in this sense. But again, there's some, some things here that are yet to be revealed. They'll be uncovered over time. The sense is to have patience. Okay, so that's the scenario. Now, next level. On the Page of Swords, again, we are inquiring through others. We may be inquiring through friends of their friends, this kind of thing. What's going on with this person? You know, what are they doing? Well, they're locked up right now in a relationship and things are going. <clears throat> oh, okay, they're keeping an eye, right? The next card is the Ace of Pentacles. And in the Romance uh, deck here, that is putting love above, or sorry, that's putting uh, money above all else. I feel like this is our energy. Uh, we are being distracted from our work area in order to deal with this uh, thing here. And we may be, yeah, they're showing me someone who may be taking time off work to get together with this person on the down low. Okay, just give me, give me moments. Four swords. This person is tied up. Ooh, we get five. <clears throat> They're going, that energy does belong to that man. Uh, now, I don't know if you are part of this menagerie here. Sense is, is this is the couple he's trying to get away from, and you may be that outside person, or you may be outside yet. Um, we are inquiring about someone, what they're doing and how they're getting along here. We may be even taking time off work to spy on them is what they said. I don't like using that word, but that's what they said. Now, there is a sense that there's a squabble going on with someone here. They're trying to remove themselves or, you know, somebody's trying to remove themselves here and I'm not quite sure where that sits. Sorry, this goes here on the, yeah, I moved it over to show about the emotional center. It's not quite engaged yet, but we're looking at something here, 
Okay. Um, there's a struggle going on with this person that we're interested in. There's a There may be a three-party that they're interested yet in that is not even us involved at this time. Now on the moon card, <clears throat> we get the four cups. Yeah, that's about introductions. Getting to know someone. This is about a masculine coming forth to a feminine in order to introduce themselves, get to know you. The sense is, is that we're going to make an appointment here to see each other more often. This is what is going on now. This may be your energy of wanting to do that with them or their energy that they've touched base already here in some shape or form. This is very introductory. It's the Four of Cups. We're not yet um, solid is the sense they're giving me. Okay. I hope you can't hear that uh, wind noise too badly. It's pretty heavy here. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, as we go back here, on the money, again, we are focused, we're kind of spying on someone here that is in a sticky situation and uh, either we're wanting them to come our way or wanting to introduce ourselves at some point here in order to get them to come our way. On top of the Ace of uh, Pentacles, we have the Hierophant. This speaks to ritual, counsel, and spiritual guidance. Again, look at, see uh, here, this little canary, right? That's chirping. That may be the spiritual guidance. Now, I don't see the bird. They're going, we're not chirping yet, but there is instinct going through. And Aries is the last to really listen to that guidance. They go before they get guided. <laughs> That's really the sense. So, um, give me a moment here. Yeah, I think the thing is here, they may have to search their instinct a little more than their, their ego, right? Over this time in order to deal with this person that they're interested in. We may have some gut reactions here that we may be overlooking in order to get. And one of them may simply be wait until the turbulence is over. This person has something to deal with. And then they'll be, you know, kind of free and clear after. <coughs> Let things die down is what they said. So if there's someone here we're interested in, may need to let things die down before we kind of uh, introduce ourselves to the situation. Okay, next card on top of the five. The struggles at the partner. I'm saying a partner because... This is someone in the future that we want to get uh, cozy up to. Um, they're going through some stuff right now. It's not the greatest time, even if that person does like, uh, and, and there is an introduction here, it's just not a great time to get anything con uh, productive from them. Uh, we have the four, <laughs> okay, well, if they don't reinforce, the four of wands. And there it is, spying. <laughs> if you look closely in the background, there's a little, you know, guy watching this woman. Now it could be uh, Aries, a masculine watching woman, or an Aries female watching a ma whatever, or a partner, period. Um, someone here has sparked our interest, and we are keeping a close eye on them no matter what they're going through is the sense here. Now, on top of these introductions, and the sense they're giving me is we have just been introduced to this energy. We may have, you know, at a party been introduced and that's it, and then went home, and now we're thinking, I want to see this person more, I want to know more, da da da. So, <clears throat> what do we get on top of the introductions? We get the temperance, virtue, <laughs> keeping things in moderation, and being calm. This is what they're asking you to do is keep your cool. Where the, the Aries is getting fired up here over connection or possible connection that's coming in the future here. And um, they're going, yeah, our virtue needs to sit high here. Uh, we may have someone who is, uh, hmm, how do I say that? Who is going to take that highly into account as we go forward. So um, <clears throat> if we come forward too aggressively in the personal area, we may be rejected. Sim simple. 
is that it may uh, it may not it may explode in our face kind of thing so be careful your virtues here and um, really the spying is because um, that Aries right the fire burns and then it's just demolishes things uh, the sense is maybe we need to avert our focus until this all clears because the more we spy the more we go in that direction it's like a magnet <sighs> okay <laughs> The infinity spirituality cards on the hierophant what do we get here as we go back <laughs> in focus the hierophant talking about spiritual connection we have we may not listen to i feel like the aries very easily could brush this aside but they will get guided on what to do here we have the complex swirl now whenever i have a complex in my deck it's about uh, channeling things and yeah give me a minute We see highly an energy of fun and extravagance in a partner here. We see that, um, yeah, they're giving me an energy I can't translate. <clears throat> like the swirls go so smoothly in and out of things, like adventurous, right? But in a smooth way, um, <clears throat> we, f we see the partner is carrying this kind of energy. Smooth, fun and explorative this is what we want to we want to know more we do not know enough is the sense now we we do feel <coughs> they let me know they go we do feel that we can get to the bottom of things here and look into things and see uh what we're gonna what we want to see here we have a high expectation here be careful of that because it may not go in in there's a lot of trappings here I'm seeing a lot of sh opportunities for shut doors because the Aries carrying either forceful energy that go doesn't go over well with this partner or um, too much of an expectation of this partner to fulfill something for us that they simply do not carry. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Okay, on top of the spying card, what do we get there? <laughs> Honey bee. There she comes. I knew she'd come out near. <laughs> <laughs> this is about service celebration and sexual frenzy we are in the love and sex area so we're talking about a sexual frenzy this person gets us going to a high degree brings us to a paramount if i could say it that way uh of something that we want now again we're moving on as simply as that this person really gets us fired up in in the physical direction virtue keeping calm moderation they're going if we cannot keep our cool and moderate this relationship on a cycle where we do not overload one the sexual side this is going to be something of a virtue that this person carries highly if they find that this goes too fast too quick in the sexual arena it can blow things apart okay so on top of this virtue, what do we get? Complex hex hexagon. Oh, you know what they said? Weaving. I said weaving a web. They said yes, the web that we're gonna get what we want, no matter what that person, and we're going to try to manipulate them to say, well, I don't normally do this. <laughs> if we do, and if we do, we're you know we don't normally do this. Da da da. It's all about manipulating situations here to get some kind of sexual gratification is what i'm getting we want sexual gratification from this person quite highly this is where our first charge lays in the physical area and we'll do every, anything to get it so um again is spirituality um not only spirituality but your instinct will be sitting quite highly here whispering and we may be just looking at a superficial area. So we'll just see how this plays out here. As we go into the infinity cards, this could blow everything. <laughs> or at least give you a hint into the way that you need to adapt here. So on the complex squirrel, uh, swirl, again, <laughs> squirrel? <laughs> it's just like the areas of squirrel. They found something, right? We don't know a lot about it. We want to know, and it's like now we're off and running. We're the dog running after the squirrel. This is, 
Yeah, this is what they're giving me. And the thing is, is we may have a lot of high expectations we want this person to fill, so be wary of that because um, that's a big burden to put upon a person without knowing them well enough. Okay. Uh, sorry, wrong side. Complex swirl, the infinity card we get is power. Okay. This can speak to ego. Ego. Man, my mouth. Egos. Usually power tripping. This is what we say. Could be about power tripping. It could be... Um, this is where our energy sat, right? Yeah. Uh, do we have power over this person is what they said. Will we gain power over this person? Big question mark there is what they said flat out. He said, uh, as an Aries, are we going to gain power? We don't know. We just told you the remedy. If we do not follow the recipe, we will not get a good result from it. So the thing here is I think we got to be a little bit... Um, you know, we've got to take this in moderation. We can't push this too fast, too quick. This is really the sense I'm getting. Because it's really going to um, fast track us all the way out of it. We'll <laughs> run in, uh, you know, get engaged, and then out we go. Kind of like booted out the back door as we're running through the house. Now, the honeybee, the sexual frenzy, we may have a high attraction to this person. Again, I feel like they're very distracted by another partner, another situation, a jaw, something is keeping their attention and it is um, something that really faithfully they need to deal with and if they don't deal with this properly it's just not going to go well now the next card we get on top of that is the LGBTQ card okay okay give me a moment here now this was somebody who was tied up, right? This is the energy of that person. They may be in a struggle of a third party situation. Um, we are spying on them quite highly. I do not get anything coming back. I feel like we're so distracted by our own situation on the other end of this that we really just can't get to that partner. We're just in introductory energy. Sexual frenzy, I feel like that's the Aries um, energy feeling what we're feeling very highly attracted physically to this per person lgbtq now this may come into the situation at some point here no matter now we could be uh we could be an aries um looking on the same sex side we could be someone who's transgendered uh and all of these things can come into play we could be someone or the partner could be someone who's having a relationship with same sex or whatever or we are carrying this somewhere here this has some kind of a feed into uh the situation that's going on and i would uh give me a minute here yeah they're going both ends have issues with this and the sense that i'm getting is bisexuality that we're open um so uh, both sides here somehow it's going to um play into things. Now it could be the partner is uh, dealing with a same sex situation. I'm actually not getting that though. I'm getting that there's two, there is two women. I don't know if it's this card kind of tainting that. But we may also have someone of the same sex cozied up to us that is um, kind of with benefits as well. So we might be just really loose in the, the sexual area here us or them or whatever something's kind of yeah but beware i'm getting that there's no focus on the aries as of yet and i feel like the aries knows this but they're gonna go like i'm gonna get the focus you know but again i feel like the timing is off i feel like the timing here somebody's got to deal with you know one or two people uh and they gotta settle that first okay Complex hexagon, again, we're talking about, you know, keeping our virtue. There's a lot hidden here by the moon. There's introduction that's been made. And a web that we want to weave with this person in order to get them in our in our grips, right? Mm. <laughs> Not good. Aries is, is famous for being a chaos maker in order to get what they want. And we got the web here and the chaos. Be careful. 
Anything that we scheme up beyond the natural process and flow is really having the ability to blow up in our face. We don't want that. We want to go smoothly and cleanly here. We could blow it right out of the water. There's something that the Aries doesn't know about this person. They've been introduced to the energy as the sense, but moderation, calm, virtue, we're not taking that track. Thank you very much. And uh, we're going to weave our web and get what we want, no matter what that person says. So again, not respecting the partner's wishes in order. Uh, and then this may come out in chaos, no doubt. Now, this may be, the chaos may be part of this. I'm getting a heavy bisexual vibe. So the sense is, if the partner we got an eye on is straight and we're masculine, feminine, I get a feeling that we may be going, jumping the fence and going into a feminine to kind of get this guy's attention. Again, be careful because things can backfire. Um, we may be on a high end of a sexual, what do you call that, peak? We may be, they're giving me that sense. There may be a sexual peak here where we kind of um, leaving our brain at the door. <laughs> Just going into things physically. Be wary. This could wreck things in the future. This is a high time for life partners to get together. Soul mates, twin flame, whatever you want to call it. Not a lot of twin flames, frankly. But this is in the air as well. Soulmates, mirrored soulmates, this kind of thing. Um, just people that you just, a past life, people that you just, you know, it's going to work and you jump in and, and away you go, the water's fine. This is all something that's coming in. We may be sensing this, but if we take it too fast, too stormy, too much chaos, it's just, it's not going to fit. We need to uh, kind of reserve ourselves a bit here even if we're having a, a, a sexual peak here we gotta we gotta watch ourselves because um you know how old are we here as a sense we got to grow into a maturity in our sexual arena and i mean usually when, uh, if we're talking about women it's usually hits from 28 to 32 <laughs> but at any time anybody can be different some can hit it at a different stage you just don't know and for males well uh, when does it stop? <laughs> when does it stop? It slows down and uh, in your late 40s to 50s. It, it changes and mutates. There's a little bit of a thing that happens. But for the most part, that's what I'm getting here is we may jump to the other side of the fence to kind of create havoc in an area. You know, is that, oh man, is that going after the partner that they, they, I don't even want to go there. This is all, yeah, that would be chaos making, is going to the other partner and then creating havoc there uh, just to get the man's attention. Well, it's bad attention. We do not realize this. Okay. So I'm not going to go any deeper into that. Beware of things here. There's power tripping. Uh, Aries, man, do it with class. You'll be fine. If you class it up, you'll be okay. You keep your moderation here and your virtue you'll be okay. But if you you let your hormones overrun, uh, it's going to create chaos. Okay, the animal card. <laughs> mm, the cat. Talking about the intuition, right? There's the intuition. You listen strongly to that bugger because that's going to get you through home free. It'll get you what you want, just not at the pace you want. Because that's the only problem I see here is pace. I want it now. And they're going, no, we have to wait and be patient. Uh, get it a little later. And they're going, nope, uh, no thank you. Now is what I want. And I'm going to work underground to get it <laughs> the way I want it. The thing is, is the part, you may lose the partner altogether if we go too fast here. So just slow it down. The cat is intuition. It's also grace. The cat is very graceful and they're very smooth, right? So just keep your cool. Keep your virtue, your virtue, your virtue, keep it. Stay calm. Redirect your energy if you have to. You know, work was a part of the, the story here. And they were showing me, you know, if we get uh, carried off in the chaos section, we'd be skipping work and, oh, I can take off early and have long dinner dates, you know, this kind of thing. 
be wary of that because you know we're starting to that's obsessive behavior right not keeping balance in our life it creates havoc chaos making so i don't know it's in their nature to go that way I, i'll tell you right now it, it's just in their way to make chaos but just be be aware that this could be a good soulmate that could stick around for a long term but we have to have patience and if we cannot display this it may just pass us by so aries there's <laughs> there's your reading uh announcements yeah i will be uh doing readings here soon um if you want to catch me i'm on skype my id infinity readings my email is posted and um yeah you can catch me or email catch me on skype or email me there and we can talk about uh setting up a reading or whatnot that's your love sex and romance for you know the end of november into december uh there was something else i <laughs> can't I can't remember. This is powerful. Aries is always powerful. Big fire. Boom. I'm here. And if you don't notice me, I'm going to make you notice me. <laughs> so what do you say? Not much. Anyway, um, take care, guys. Have fun and be kind. That's your reading. We'll talk to you next month.